Maybe... Maybe it's the nature. <laughs> it's rhythm is slow. Once we came here, the first thing that hit us was the time flow. Whatever it is, we felt it. Maybe the people who live there, collected, calm, used to the rhythm of the nature. And the roots of the time flow lay in the stories that this place, Kulautova, is offering to us. You can imagine that all, all the things, all the statues, all the carbon, wooden carvings were, were remained after the fire, just like they were original, uh, but they were black, everything was black, with all the details visible. The most intriguing thing that I saw in, in, inside the church were, was um, a young couple. They were you know, dancing in the middle of that burnt church inside. Um, so it was really astonishing. And then I uh, you know, kind of thought that uh, no matter what happens, uh, life goes on. Mm. Uh, even in, in the most dreadful circumstances, you know. Our group was shocked by such acts of beauty rising from the horror. Where does it come from? It all went clearer once we met Simona. A friendly local artist that invited us into her workshop. She explained to us that everything connects and everything is important. You just have to be open and willing to see. According to her, a person has to learn to let the energy flow through one's body. Only then the one can be happy and feel loved. Now it all makes sense here in Kolautva. The ever happy people, the time flow, the nature that has something incredibly strong. You just have to let it flow. If the nature does so, why shouldn't you? Yeah.